my kids. They just adore Walter. He's coming for you now, Robin. He's gonna give you kisses. He's about three feet tall. He will sit in their laps, and it's quite funny. They think that every other dog they see is a puppy because they are all smaller than Walter. When they go to leave the house, they say, oh, Walter's going to miss us. And they do everything together. Walter wants to be where the boys are and the boys want to be where Walter is. Walter has only ever known our house with our boys. I've always grown up with dogs. And I did a lot of research before we got Walter because I had a three-year-old and an almost one-year-old. What is it, Walter? And Walter was very timid. He's like, no, I don't want to do He was all legs, so he was very clumsy. <laughs> but he's so gentle. When we brought him back, we let him kind of go in the backyard to sniff, and my son became completely obsessed with Walter. Is he tickling you? Yeah. They've never been afraid of him. They love to take him for walks. They just watch him run circles around them. And they laugh. My oldest son thinks that Walter talks to him. He has long conversations with Walter, but he hardly ever makes any sound. So the one-sided conversation. My youngest and Walter are very similar. He is a little bit of a couch potato, and so is Walter. When the boys are away for whatever reason, he looks for them, he misses them. He gives them kisses every day before they leave for school. And is greeting them at the door as soon as they walk in. And he's not skittish now. He knows that he's loved. And that he is truly a family member. The boys definitely helped him open up. They're like a little pack.